Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek the Trash Man here, and today I'm going to be showing you part one of how to trick the devil in rains. So, the first part, the first thing you have to do would be get the frozen blood. Now, to do that, you have to basically, just the witch will come up and talk to you and say, I have a gift for you, and you have to, um prove worthy of my time or whatever and then you have to govern uh, 15 years with the ailment of old age and then when you get to choose a gift after that you have to choose the uh, red and cold ruby which is the frozen blood then the homunculus you know he tells you this stuff and then basically you can talk to him but yeah so <laughs> That part, that part's the easy part. The next part, next part, it gets a little bit harder. So, for the next part, you're going to need to talk to the witch again. And when she asks you what you want, after you say you want to learn some white magic, you say a way to trick the devil. Then she'll give you uh, six numbers, which are um, 1,043, 683, uh, 1,214, 842, 1432, and 1,669. So, basically, what you do with those numbers is you look on the timeline, right? And each of those numbers corresponds to a year. And, basically, they either have the king, on those years, they have the king either facing towards or a way, an alchemist symbol that corresponds to a door in the dungeon. I know this is really complicated, but it'll all make sense later. So basically what you gotta do now is you gotta go into the dungeon and you first things first you have to get the torch and you have to say take it. Then you can see cracks in the walls, but you have to do that first, okay? So don't just go into the dungeon and right away go through the fire door. But, after you do that, the first symbol that you're going to go through is the fire door. Now, the king is facing towards the fire, so you want to go into the fire door. The next symbol you're going to go to is arsenic. And the king is facing away, or facing towards, sorry, the arsenic door. So, again, you're going to go into the arsenic door. Now... The third symbol is acid, and the king is facing towards the acid door, or the acid symbol on the timeline, so you're going to want to go into the acid door. Then, the next symbol on the timeline is gold. So, but on this one, the king's facing away from the gold, so you would want to go into the crack in the wall, not the gold door. The next symbol on the timeline is pentagram, but the king is also, just like the gold, facing away. So you're going to want to use the other door for this one. And the, the next symbol on the timeline is uh, pentagram again, but this time the king's facing towards the pentagram, so you want to go into the pentagram door. Then, when you go into that door, you're going to see a skeleton named Clock. Now, don't choose Flea. You have to choose Attack. When you choose Attack, he'll just talk to you, and you'll have a nice conversation about strawberries. And then he'll show you the exit to the dungeon. But, yeah. You, basically, you have to do this to uh, get another item, which will allow you to get Clock back into the kingdom. But, yeah, this is basically... Part 1 of How to Trick the Devil in Rains. How to get the frozen, the frozen blood and find clock. So yeah, please do leave a like and subscribe. And yeah.